in the California Science Grade 3 Interactive Text. We will be working on pages 22 through 29 today. Lesson 4. Life in the forest. What is a forest? A forest is a biome that has many trees. There are different kinds of forests in different places around the world. Tropical rainforests can be found near the equator. Tropical rainforests are almost always hot and wet. Tropical rainforests are dense and green. Write a short weather forecast for a typical day in the rainforest. So here you're going to say something like, it is a hot and wet day here in the rainforest. And what would consi be considered hot? Maybe 90, 100 degrees is hot. And wet would be humidity. So you'd say it's humid and sticky and wet. Maybe a forecast of rain. A temperate forest has four seasons, spring, summer, fall, and winter. Summers are warm and wet. Winters can be cold and dry. These forests are found in North America, Europe, and Asia. Temperate forests change from season to season. Fill in the blank. In a blank forest, it stays warm all year long. So let's go back over here and it says, the tropical rainforest is found near the equator and it's almost always hot and wet. So another word for hot would be warm. So we are going to say that in a tropical rainforest, it stays warm and all year long. Because here in the temperate forest, it says that it's can be warm and wet, and then here it says cold and dry, so it's not warm all year long. 24. Tropical rainforest. The tallest trees get the most light. The next layer is formed by tree branches and leaves. Trees in the middle layer don't get as much light. The forest floor is dark and damp. Read a diagram. This diagram shows some of the layers in the rainforest, and by layers we say there's the floor of the forest, and then there's the middle layer, the next layer, and the tallest or the top layer. What adaptations help forest plants survive? Forest plants grow in layers. Plants in each layer have adapted to get the light and water they need to live. In a tropical rainforest, tall trees have special roots that help keep them up. Some shorter plants have leaves with tips that get rid of extra water. Plants on the ground have large leaves that help them get sunlight. There are two kinds of trees in a temperate forest. One kind has leaves that fall off when the seasons turn cool. The other stays green all year long. Both have adapted to survive the cold, dry winter. And here in this picture it says, this tree's leaves change color and drop off in the fall. You remember the other ones stay green all year long. Quick check. Tell whether each statement is true or false. Plants on the ground in the rainforest get a lot of sunlight. And that is not true. It's dark and damp. So I'm going to say false. And number 24. Some trees in a temperate forest have no leaves in the winter. So let's go back up here. And it says one kind has leaves that fall off. So if their leaves fall off, they would have no leaves. So I'm going to say that that is true. Quick Page 26. How do animals survive in a tropical rainforest? Tropical rainforests have more kinds of animals than anywhere else. Their adaptations help them stay safe. Some bright, colorful animals use poison to stay safe. Their color warns other animals to stay away. An animal that attacks might get poisoned. This frog's colors warn that it may be poisonous. May means that it might be, but it's not always necessarily poisonous. Just be careful. Some animals in tropical rainforests can run fast to get away from danger. Others climb high in the trees or fly to be safe. Mimicry is when one thing pretends to be another thing. Some animals use mimicry to blend in with their environment. The color and body shape of a mantis make it look like a flower. 
So this is actually a mantis. See, the mantis looks like a flower and it's hard to see. To find the mantis, look for its head. So you can see he's trying to blend right into that flower with his colors. Tell how each adaptation below helps forest animals. Colors that stand out, they help let the other animals know to stay away. I may be poison. I always put poisonous, that sounds better. Stay away, I may be poisonous. Colors that blend in, so some animals use mimicry to blend in because then they can hide. Or they can look like something else. Like the mantis look like a flower. But it helps them blend in or hide. Page 28. How do animals survive in a temperate forest? Animals in the temperate forest need to survive cold weather. Their adaptations help them. Some grow heavy coats in winter to stay warm. Some eat more or store food for the winter. Others sleep through the coldest months. This dormouse sleeps through the winter. Animals in the temperate forest need to stay safe. Their adaptations help them survive. A skunk can spray other animals. The spray smells and stings their eyes. A porcupine has many sharp quills. These can hurt an animal that tries to attack. Most animals will leave the porcupine alone. This skunk can spray other animals. This porcupine's quills help keep it safe. And these right here are Quick check. What adaptation makes sure an animal has enough food in the winter? So let's see. Some of them store food. How do they store that food? It says some eat more or store food for the winter. So one of the adaptations is that they store food. And another one was that they eat more. So they eat a whole bunch of food and then they go to sleep. And we will read this section here, the life in the Arctic tundra, next time.